What is going on guys? Griffin here coming to you with another exciting video today. It is exciting and different today because I was not expecting this at all. Um, I meant to shoot this in the morning and I did but when I went to edit it I had chopped the bottom part of my face off. I don't know what I was doing. I guess I just wasn't paying attention to where the lens was. I was using the selfie stick walking around while getting stuff ready for the morning and whatnot. Um, but I have exciting news. I have finally been accepted to merch by Amazon. Um, you know if, you, if you're a subscriber and you've been following the videos, you know that I said the wait could be as long as three, six, eight months, maybe a year by now, who knows. But um, I also mentioned if you go and watch this webinar that I will once again try to post in the description below if I can find it. If not, just simply go onto your computer, type in Merch by Amazon webinar or um, Merch by Amazon webinar to get into Merch fast. Should be able to find it pretty quick. Just play around with your searching. You should find it pretty quick. Um, but what I did was is I watched that. I applied as it said and I, I didn't get accepted overnight because those were for that was for the people that actually watched it live or whatnot. Um, but I did get accepted what maybe two months in, two, three at the most. I don't think it was three. It was at the most two months, eight weeks. So not very long. I wouldn't even say two months really. I would really say six weeks, but I'm just gonna say eight to overshoot it. So if you watch that webinar, I would say within two months you should get in. So if you haven't done it by now at least apply if you can't find the webinar still apply because the longer you wait the longer it's going to take you to get in and if you get in the webinar go through what it says to do and apply you should get accepted if you were to apply today october what is it 11th 12th october 12th i would guarantee you be in by the end of the year at the latest so just go try it out and get into this guys because i've only uploaded my one shirt design the no breaks fitness t-shirt and I BS you not I didn't buy my shirt or anything like that um, I'm sure I will just to kind of give it free um, what you call advertisement and whatnot and I know I'm gonna have family buying it and whatnot but I've already sold and this is just at $14.99 getting started using American Apparel I've already sold one and they've only been live for about two hours now I've sold one for $14.99 with an estimate royalty of $1.93. Now I don't know how well the camera will focus on that. I hope it does a decent job at least where you can somewhat see the numbers. But it was a royalty of $1.93. I could have sold it for $13.99 but the royalty was only going to be like a quarter. And I just don't feel it's worth it at that price. And when you go up a dollar for it to go up to $1.93 I just thought... Might as well just go up a dollar if people won't pay $15 for a shirt. Your shirt's probably not a good design to begin with. And obviously I've already sold one. Now I did, however, go over to my health and fitness page. Um, and I did set up a little ad or whatever. Like I made a post. The post says, we are now on Amazon Prime. This means get all of your fitness shirts in just two business days and even better at a price of just $14.99 get yours today and then I put a link and when you copy and paste your link in it automatically shows a picture of your t-shirt with the Prime logo to let people know that it is Prime eligible which means they do get it in two days I did set it up for um, a boosted post of $5 over a span of five days so they'll spend a dollar per day on advertisement and it should reach it said between 500 and 1500 people um, now that's not a lot by any means out of let's say it only reaches a thousand um, like in the middle let's say it only reaches a thousand people I would say out of a thousand probably only 10 are actually gonna click click on it at least from previous experience with um, Teespring and T-Chip and whatnot, but so far 15 people have been reached, no clicks or anything um, that's expected when doing T-Chip and Teespring, I would say per every 200 clicks, I mean 200 views or whatever, 200 people reached, sorry about that, 
for every 200 people reached, I would probably receive one or two clicks, which is not a very good click rate. Um, I might want to do more research into setting up my target audience. I might want to toy with that in the future, but we're not going to get into that really. I just wanted to let you all know straight up what I've been doing. Um, I actually just published this ad 52 minutes ago. I don't know. I don't assume that the sale came from that because, like I said, there's no clicks as of now, which means that somebody must have just bought it straight off of Amazon, like searching for fitness clothing or something. Um, that's another thing that I'll get into in a whole nother video is when you're typing in your description, all that good stuff about using keywords. Now, with your description, you don't want to be heavy on keywords because it just ruins your post or whatever, your ad or whatever may have you. Um, it just ruins it. But I will be sure to do videos on how I go about doing my keywords, key phrasing and whatnot. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It feels like something in my throat. But um, I'll be sure to just go through everything with Merch by Amazon. Um, I'm just really excited about this because like I said, I mean, the shirts haven't even, the shirt, I wouldn't say shirts, there's only one up right now. Um, the shirt hasn't been up, but maybe, I don't know, when did I get the email? It was sometime before I got off work, and I've only been off work an hour. It's 1 o'clock in the morning now here. Um, I would say at the most they've been live six hours. Six hours and already a sale. That is pretty, um, what's the word? I lost the word. I'm just going through all this stuff because I'm so excited. Um. Having a sale already is pretty exciting. Um, I hope that by publishing this ad and having the shirt at such an affordable cost and the two-day shipping, I mean, all the ingredients are there for success other than that Amazon's shirts are not the best. I mean, they are. They go through, like, I. you can go through just a plain Jane, was it Gildan, Gildan t-shirt, like a loose fit t-shirt, um, and they're cheaper to produce, which means you get more in royalty, you can sell it cheaper, but I go with American Apparel because it's a little more fitted and comfortable for like working out especially, so I decided to go with that because it's just my target audience really, it fits them more, and it's a better quality overall. I would suggest going with American Apparel on most of your clothing anyways. Um, but the only thing is, is that with like T-Chip, Teespring and whatnot, you can do tank tops, you can pick from various amount, very, especially on T-Chip, various brands and all that good stuff. And then you're going against other actual t-shirt companies, websites that have, um, Bella Canvas and including myself, I'm going to be jumping into this still just because I have merged my Amazon doesn't mean I'm not gonna go with my heat press and everything. All I'm doing is, is pretty much any way that I can make money from home, I'm looking into it. Um, most of it being e-commerce, but of course I'm gonna have some stuff on the side. It's just business. I want to make a lot of money doing stuff that I like to do. I love doing this stuff. I love doing Amazon. I love doing eBay. I love all of this stuff. So the more money I can make off of the most stuff that I like to do, the happier I'll be. So I'm pretty much doing merch by Amazon. One is an experiment for you guys. Two, because I like, I mean, I'm already making the designs anyways, right? So I might as well upload them on there too. And when you do this, it's not like um, Kindle publishing where you can only post it to Amazon. You can post it to Teach It, Teespring, print it yourself. So that's four or five different platforms you can sell on. And I mean, the it's just limitless, guys. I can't stress to you how excited I am. I mean, wow, I, one sale already. And given it's only about a $2 royalty, but this is free. That is the best thing about Merch by Amazon is you don't spend a dime. Well, I'll kind of backtrack on that. If you're not really good, well, you have to pay for Photoshop, Illustrator, obviously, $29.99 a month if you have a student in your home, which I'm sure you can find some kind of student ID to get that discount or else you're paying $79.99 a month, which is just outrageous. But if you have to do that, you have to do that. Surely you know a student that you can get their information, have them type it in, $29.99 a month. Definitely worth the investment as long as you put in the time and work. Um, but $29.99 a month, other than that, you have no expenses unless 
you don't want to pay the $29.99 a month because Illustrator, Photoshop, all that's just too, um, what would I say, technological advanced for you. You don't really want to learn all that stuff or you just don't think you can. You don't have trust in your own capabilities. Like me, I'm not going to lie. I'm not an artist by any means, but I'm giving it a try. And if I don't like it, then I'll end my subscription. Pay. I have a cousin that loves doing graphic design work. He's not a graph. He's not a graphic design major, college major, or anything. But he loves art. He's good at just taking an idea and blowing it up with five or ten different ideas. So if I don't see progress with what I'm doing, I might go over to him, pay him five bucks per design, like you would pay someone on Fiverr, which is what I was going to get to. If you don't trust yourself in making your designs, you can go to Fiverr. You can go to um, there's all kinds of various, there's all kinds of different websites you can go on to and pay these people five to, now I will tell you straight up, the, you pay, you get what you pay for, so if you pay five dollars, you're going to get a five dollar design. If you pay twenty five dollars, you should, keyword should, get a really good design. That's not always the case though. So me personally, if I were to go that route, I would probably pay someone ten to fifteen dollars per design ask them for copies of their work, what they've done, and like their portfolio, go through and find the best people, narrow it down to who is really good at your niche maybe, or similar to your niche like me. My niche is like health and fitness, mostly fitness. You can't really integrate health with clothing really, but health and fitness is what the company is and well the brand not the company companies various things but the brand is health and fitness so i would look at someone that's into lifting or healthy foods vegan food maybe um, vegetarian i don't know is there a difference between vegans and vegetarians i don't know anyways vegans vegetarian like any of that good stuff see if anybody is doing artwork based on that or whatever or something close at least you get what I'm saying pretty much find someone that does artwork pretty damn close to your niche and if you find a few narrow it down to the ones that are the best see if one will possibly go a couple bucks cheaper than the other that's where you start using your kind of hustler mind and say okay well this guy and you don't have to tell them the truth say well this guy's offering me ten dot let's say one guy's offering you fifteen and he does better work than the other guy's offering you fifteen Say, well, I got one guy offering to do it for ten dollars. Would you at least go down to twelve? Because I mean, every dollar counts. So if you can get that guy from fifteen to go down to twelve, that's three dollars you're saving per design. Let's say you use this guy for, let's just say, your first twenty-five designs. Twenty-five times three, you just save seventy-five bucks over all of your designs, rather than paying him what's fifteen times twenty-five, two fifty, and over $300, close to $400, you're paying them just about $300 now. So you just got to think every dollar counts over time. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to go on a huge rant about that. I kind of did, but just use your brain, guys. It's not that hard. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to kind of, well, one, I wanted to not really brag or anything, but just be like, hey, I got in. It's worth applying. So if you're not motivated to apply, apply today. It did not take me very long. The time flies. If you're just literally depending on merch by Amazon, you're messing up. I'll tell you straight up. Go resell some stuff on eBay. Go resell some stuff on Amazon. Go do retail arbitrage. We're in Q4. Get on it. Um, there's all kinds of different things to do while you're waiting for merch by Amazon. I didn't, I literally almost forgot I even applied to be honest. Like I was moving forward so heavy on my t-shirt business. Getting ready to order a heat press probably in another week or two, depending on how money shook out and all that. And then um, someone in the green room actually said that they got accepted for merch by Amazon on Saturday. I checked, didn't get accepted yet. Then somebody um, yesterday said they got accepted. Checked my email, boom, I got in. So they, if you if you're on any of these pages, pay attention to when people are saying they're getting in. Just check. You might as well check and see if you got in. Um, I will tell you, it won't pop up. If you use the Gmail app, it will not pop up in, like, your actual messages that, like, when you first load it. You need to go down to all mail 
click the all mail tab and then it'll pop up. I don't know if it pops up as like a spam message or what, but when I clicked all mail, it popped up because I check my email pretty frequently, at least three times a day. And I checked it last night at about midnight before I was going to, no, about two in the morning when I was about to go to bed. Didn't see that email. Then I clicked all mail this morning. That email was sent at seven o'clock last night. So just click all mail if you're on Gmail, if you have Yahoo or whatnot. I don't know if they have the same thing. I'm sure they do. Um, but just make sure there's like no filter going on taking out any junk mail. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. A little longer than I was expecting, like always. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty exciting, guys. So if you have not applied to Merge by Amazon by now, do it. I cannot stress that enough. I mean, it's free. That's the best thing about it. Like I said, it is free. Other than your 30 bucks a month for Illustrator or you paying some other person to do it for you, it is free. There's no 100 to $100 to $500 heat press cost. There's no $50 to get your transfers made. There's no... I mean, either way, you're going to have to pay for, like, Illustrator or pay somebody to design it for you. So, essentially, it's still free when you take that into account. You're just taking out all those other expenses and drama and all that other BS that goes along with it. So, apply to Amazon Merch now as soon as you watch this video. B, I hope you are applying while watching this video. If you can, pull up another tab and get on it, guys. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a good, was it night now? <laughs> have a good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.